I didn't become a Christian until I was 32. And uh, my wife thought she was marrying a Christian, but she found out later on that she wasn't. She was one of the ones that helped me come to know the Christ. So I went down to the altar and I told God, I said, God, I've always believed in you. But from this day on, I'm going to believe what you say. And I cried, so I might cry. <laughs> but anyway, that was the moment that I got up off my knees went home and Jane said she got a new husband without getting a divorce. <laughs> but that's how I became a Christian. And then I looked around and none of my family or friends were Christians. Talk about Jesus or share the gospel, but they won't take a person to the point of commitment. And we, we learned in uh, way back that you don't just dangle a stake in front of a hungry man's face, you tell him how to get the stake. My wife and her brother-in-law made the diagnosis that I wasn't a Christian. They made the diagnosis. They didn't tell me how to become a Christian. So I had to zigzag through life and you know, six more months before I really gave my life to God. And so consequently, I narrowed my presentation down in a hurry to three simple questions. I said, I would make my diagnosis for the person just after a little conversation. I said, well, I said, I want to ask you three questions. Okay, have you ever invited Jesus Christ into your heart? Yes or no? So yes, great. Second question. Well, if you died right now, would you know for certain you had eternal life? A lot of people say, well, I hope I would. I wish I would. I think I would. Well, let's go back to number one to make sure they knew the gospel. And then they say, okay, now I don't hope I have eternal life. Now I know I have eternal life. Third question, if it, when you get there, how many sins are you going to have to pay for? And uh, they say, they'll think about it a lot of times. They say, one, <laughs> or some will say a lot. <laughs> I said, wait a minute now, let's go back to the cross. Let's go back to prayer. Question one, until they understand, they would have to pay for none, you know. Boy, the light goes on. Once they know those three questions, I leave them alone. I leave it up to the Lord. Because I learned that the best thing I could do is put my reputation in God's hands, not my own. There are a lot of people I feel like, that if I don't tell them, they're going to hell. And so consequently, I feel like I'm important in the kingdom. Because if I don't tell them, they're going to hell. And that's a and I don't worry about it. I just know that my responsibility is to present the gospel and as simply as I can and take them to the point of commitment and leave all the results to the Lord and, and loving them. A lot of times I said, nobody told me this. Nobody loved me enough to tell me this until I was 32 years old. And that's one of the reasons why I want to tell you this. And those three questions kind of narrow it down and you can make a diagnosis in a hurry where they are and then show them how to get, get the cure. <laughs>